L3 Harris Technologies has secured a potential $49 million indefinite delivery indefinite quantity contract from the U.S. Navy to provide multiband radio waveform porting and associated services. Lumen Technologies has appointed artificial intelligence expert Satish Lakshmanan as its new chief product officer. RTX company Raytheon has secured a three-year, $31.3 million contract from the Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren Division to design, build and test two directed energy weapon prototype systems for the U.S. Navy and Air Force. Robert Gordon, a military and healthcare industry leader, has joined Document Storage Systems as senior strategic leader for artificial intelligence and digital innovation. The Defense Logistics Agency Logistics Operations has awarded LMIA contract to help DLA enhance research and development methods and improve purchase order lead time estimates for new systems. General Dynamics Information Technology announced the strong growth of its digital accelerator portfolio in its first year. Bill Rowan, Vice President of Public Sector at Splunk, discussed some of the key takeaways from the company's annual summit, and the first is that it is imperative for government agencies to build up digital resilience amid the evolving cyber threat landscape to quickly respond to cyber risks. The Veterans Health Administration has lengthened its contract with Applied VR, under which the company is providing an at-home chronic lower back pain treatment program. Join Potomac Officers Club's 10th Annual Defense R&D Summit on January 31, 2024. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. Lidos has completed a demonstration of its enduring shield weapon system as a launcher for the AIM-9X missile interceptor.